Hi everyone, welcome to Simply Ornaments, and we're going to do a hairy spider. And this is of course a Halloween ornament, and you can hang it on your Halloween tree or your Halloween wreath, or hang it out there to scare the kids when they come trick-or-treating. So this is what we're going to need. You, you can of course use your own colors. And first we're going to cut the hook. And then we're going to make his body. And I'm making a black spider. And he's, he's not really scary. He's kind of fun. He's actually going out trick-or-treating. So let's make his body. He's about six inches tall. You can make him smaller. I wouldn't make him any bigger. And now these little green round round balls, yes, balls are round. They're going to be for his vest. And you can make it a different color. You know, like I always say, colors are up to you. So now I'm going to roll out his legs. And the first thing we're going to roll is a black log. And then I'm going to roll another black log. Now I'm rolling an orange log and I'm going to attach it to the top black log. And we want them all to be about the same size. And the next one is going to be white. I think I could have made it a little bit fatter, but if you want to, you can. And you don't have to use these colors. I just want to go more with a Halloween theme. And now we are not going to roll this or twist this. We are going to cut these this as you'll see, and this is for his legs. I'm using a big old knife. You can use your blade. I wouldn't use the uh, X-Acto knife because you want to go straight down on this. Use a knife for a blade and try to make them all about the same size and I'm, I'm making I'm actually making more than eight we need eight but I am making more than eight just in case I mess up so it's going to be kind of a backup I'll have I think I made ten Cutting. And now I've got, I don't know, how many do I have there? I've got more than 10, I think. Maybe 11. And we're going to start rolling them. And, and in the rolling process, they'll kind of bond together. And they don't have to be exactly the same. And I'm going to jump ahead pretty soon so that you don't have to watch me rolling every single one of them, which I know you don't want to do. So let's jump. There we go. They're all done. And now we're going to attach them to the body. Now, I made it like he had two legs and six arms. We know they're all legs, but hey, this is, this is just our little Halloween guy.
then we're going to attach the arms and all his arms will be holding something different. See, I didn't like that one, so I grabbed a different one. It's a good idea to have a few extras, just in case. Are you starting to look good? Now we're going to take those green balls and roll them out and flatten them, and this is his vest. Has a little vest on. Does anybody wear vests anymore? I don't know. Maybe under a suit. I remember back in the 60s, my aunt used to crochet vests. And we'd have, she'd make them for us in all different colors to match our outfits. Oh, they were so nice. Nobody wears that stuff anymore. <laughs> that was, I guess that was the old hippie. Hippie times. All right, we're going to jump ahead here to I'm making buttons and you don't need to see me making every single button. So we are going to jump. There we go. They're all on and I'm just kind of pushing a little hole in the middle. This helps to bond it and also gives it a little texture. Oh gosh, it's so hot and humid today, and I just had this wonderful breeze come in through the window. Oh, it felt so good. I don't want to run the air conditioner because it makes too much noise. Now we've put his head on. Now make him kind of like a cone-shaped head. And I'm giving him a purple bow tie, and we're doing our teardrop shapes, and we've done bow ties before. Of course, I shouldn't say that because some of you might be new. The easy thing about my uh, tutorials is you can just watch what I'm doing, and I, I really don't have to explain everything. It's not some fancy technique or anything. You're just rolling stuff out basically and shaping it by hand. Oh, some of his arms are longer than others, but that's all right. You just never know with the spider. Now, I'm going to give him a top hat and his upper arm is going to be holding it because he's very debonair with his vest and bow tie. And now you see how I'm pinching the brim of the hat to give it kind of a sharp edge. And now it's time for our hook. Putting the little hat band on and he's holding his hat. He's saying hello to everybody and tipping his hat to them. And now in the little empty portion of my, my uh, blush case there, I have beads. And I just made two holes for his eyes and I'm putting in beads. And I think those are purple beads I'm putting in. Now you don't have to do this. You can if you don't have beads, just make little balls with clay and make them any color you want. I don't know why I went with the dark, because later I painted some white over it. But, you know, do what you like. I 
And I'm making his eyebrows, just putting that over the eyes. I don't want him to look evil. I want him to look fun. So don't don't make the eyes look like he's mean because we want him to be fun. And then I'm giving him a red nose. Now we're going to make a little jack-o'-lantern. They're very easy to do and he's holding his jack-o'-lantern. You know, when you have that many arms, it's easy to hold. And press it on well so that he's holding it nice and tight. Just going to texture it so it looks like a pumpkin. And then we're going to use the tip of our knitting needle, or you could even use your needle tool to do this. And I just kind of make a zigzag mouth. Very easy. And I'm attaching that arm to the other arm. And that's basically for stability. And he's going to have his trick or treat bag in that arm. See, he can hold a lot of stuff well with all those arms. Don't you sometimes wish you had more arms to hold things? Nah, not really. <laughs> There's the handle. Now I'm putting a little ghost on his Halloween bag. You have to have some decoration on your trick or treat bag. It has to be scary or cute. So we put a little ghost on his and just make the ghost's face with a needle tool. There you go. And now we're going to make some candy corn. Wouldn't be Halloween without candy corn. So just roll out some short little logs, yellow orange and white. Oh my, the wind is picking up out there. I can hear it whistling through the trees. I don't know, somebody's here. Well, somebody pulled up to the house friend of my brother's. He's gone now. And we've got a thunderstorm going. But here is the candy corn. And he's holding the candy corn. Looks so yummy. And in his other hand, he's going to have a walking stick. And I put, I put on the top of this walking stick I put in a bead, and you don't have to do that, but I don't know why. I was thinking maybe it's like his magic wand slash walking stick. But there goes the red bead. If you don't have beads and you want to do that effect, just use clay. And 
and he's holding his walking stick, and I do attach the walking stick to his foot at the bottom. Again, just for that extra stability. And he is pretty much done, except now I'm, I'm making him furry. You don't have to make him furry, but I'm making him a little furry with the, the needle tool. You know when you come across those really scary spiders and they look like they have hair all over them? Ooh, they're the really creepy ones. Well, every spider's creepy, but they're not really. I used to be so scared of them when I was a little kid. Oh my gosh. So here we go, making him furry. I don't think I've done his mouth yet. I'm, I, it's very hard for me to see this while I'm editing. I use a very, very old movie editing software. Oh gosh, it's going to rain. I hear it. Well, I really don't mind the rain because we sometimes have such dry spells here and we need the rain. One year, the lake. Now, I live near what we used to call Clark's Hill Lake and there's, and now it's Strom Thurmond Lake with the Strom Thurmond Dam and that's a little north of Augusta. And one year we had such a drought that you could walk out to the little islands in the lake. And this is a man-made lake when they put the uh, dam in. Now this is before my time here, but when they put the dam in, they there was a town that was taken away and a lot of the houses are down under the lake, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> but anywho, I should get back to you giving him a heart. You know what that heart is. That means he's a black widow spider. But no, he wouldn't be a widow. Oh, she could be a girl. I don't know. He's hairy. Hairy spider. And to make the heart, you know, just do... Um, I'm trying to figure out right now what I'm doing here. Am I giving him another leg? Doesn't he have enough? No, what was I doing there? I know he has enough legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They are making the mouth. You can paint the mouth on too. I should have put a tooth or something in there. But anyway, when you make the heart, make two little teardrop shakes, sh shakes, shapes, and press them together. That's his little tongue. I'm still recuperating from the uh, <coughs> gas poisoning. And like I, I said in another video, physically, I'm pretty much okay physically but my mind is still a little foggy at times. And it, it's kind of frightening. All right, now what am I doing there? I don't know. Oh, on his hat. All right. A feather in his cap. So I'm hoping I have no after effects from that poisoning. And I'm wondering, we're supposed to have rain all week, so I wonder if the guys are going to come and fix the the problem with the septic tank, so I don't Oh, I don't know. I'm putting a little blush on him. It's hard to see, but it is there. Now you can see it. You can go a little uh, heavier with the blush on this guy. And I do paint some details on after I bake him. And of course, bake him according to the instructions on your package of clay. Oh, those eyes look kind of weird, don't they? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. 
that's okay. It is Halloween. Well, I hope you had fun with this one. I thought I'd make some Halloween ones a little earlier in the year in case some of you want to do things to put online. And this way you have time to get it ready for sale before Halloween. And he was from two years ago. I hope you enjoyed that. And hopefully I'll be going on to the next one. See you next time. Bye.